you guys see this pond here this pond here this pond represents life itself i'll explain why in a minute but i like to come out here in the morning and feed the fish i went through a lot of work learning about the chemistry of the water the bacteria the microbes all the stuff i needed to create an ecosystem so that my plants and fish would thrive now you can't see them because they're small fish and they like to go underneath the filter over there and hide because the first set of fish i had were attacked by raccoons and got eaten most of them so now there was like one surviving koi and he hides underneath that thing but i bought a few other like uh minnows and some goldfish but they all go and follow the bigger fish and they hide under there but sometimes you could catch the minnows swimming around you know but um yeah there's one you know but i come out here in the morning and in the evening and i feed them twice a day and i enjoy my pond now let me get into why i brought this see the thing is that pond i built with my bare hands with no knowledge no understanding no foundation i went on youtube i did some research went on google did some reading and i just took my pickaxe and i started swinging and i dug a hole then i went to the hardware and i looked up you know what, what i was going to need for materials and I didn't have a lot of money, so I had to get creative. I had to get real creative. I had to think of, well, how am I going to get the materials on the rock? Because that's the, that's the majority of the cost. I drove by a construction site and saw they dug up concrete. And the concrete was there. Anyway, all this to say that in life, sometimes all it takes is for you to take that first step. You just have to do it. Whatever it is. You just got to put yourself out there and start the process putting one foot in front of the other and little by little you'll start noticing that in some miraculous incredible way you get this drive this motivation this spirit of something that overtakes you it's, it's almost like a meditation almost that overwhelms you and you get in the zone and that's why i love doing projects around my house it's I mean, I run out of money for some of them, but that's okay. It, I get creative and I start thinking, well, how do I take things from over here, put it over there? Where can I go and get some free stuff or whatever? But through all those doing or making or developing things or creating things from nothing, you, you get into this spiritual zone of being centered and feeling whole and feeling like you're connected to something higher than you, right? Now, for different people, this manifests in different ways. But the, the, more, the, the premise of what I'm trying to get to is in life, just, just have faith in yourself. Trust yourself. Take the first step, whatever that means, even if it means you're clumsy, you fall down, you bruise yourself, you get up and you go. That's it. There's no formula that you could follow. There is no being prepared. There is no being well studied or whatever that's nonsense people who tell you that if you look at their lives they have done nothing because they're stuck by being by the book so i'm just saying just have faith in yourself you woke up today don't give up keep pushing and you'll see there is a god you just have to be quiet enough and still enough to listen and that's why i feed my fish